I, I am a, I'm Stephen Parrish. I am a, an engineer, on, a lead engineer on the Click uh, team. Uh, today we'll cover a little bit of creating, configuring uh, Click wraps, as well as embedding them in a website is the main focus. And uh, yeah, um, I don't know if you guys saw a little bit about what Click is so far, uh, but a Click wrap essentially is a, for DocuSign is the simplest form of agreement. Um, ideally it's just text and a click to agree. Um, the idea is that we take away a lot of the compliance issues with uh, like the normal terms of service and privacy policies you see today, and we simplify the developer experience as well. So first, I'm going to kind of jump into just creating a click wrap, and uh, if you want to follow along, you can. Uh, if you have a sandbox account, uh, click wraps are enabled on all sandbox accounts in demo right now. So yeah. Make sure I can actually exit out of this. So, if you log into your sandbox accounts right now, uh, along with envelopes, you now will see click wraps. Um, I'm going to sort of stick to the UI side of this instead of the API side for creating click wraps. Um, largely for click wraps, the management portion is going to like is the main use case is through the UI. The main developer case is a little downstream, actually embedding them in the website. So. Uh, I already have a couple here, uh, two different use cases, one's inline, one's modal. So I'm going to go ahead and just edit this one. So you get a nice preview of what your agreement will look like finally on, the, on your website. Uh, this one's inline, so it will actually, it works well in cases where you have a, like a web form of several fields, like a purchase order and then an agreement like a EULA at the end. Uh, so then there's also a few other options we allow them to customize, like whether you want a checkbox, and whether you need them to read or not, and where you want the button to be placed. Along with that, we also give you like a history and audit log of versions. So one of the main, uh, I guess, infrastructure portions of Click is that we want to support the ability to create new versions of a document. Uh, Terms of service and privacy policies change over time and the acceptance around them changes over time. So we want the ability to either require a reacceptance if something breaking in the document changes, if there's a new clause in the document that you want users to reaccept that they've already accepted, like say V1 down here, they should reaccept V2, or they should, be able to, they should be forced to accept V2 even though V3 is active. So largely versioning is a core piece of Click in that it, I guess, enforces any changes you have in your documents over time, as well as, well as configuration. So like if you were to change any of these settings in Click right now, uh, it would be a new version. You can decide whether or not you want that to re-accept a new version, or whether it forces users that have already accepted to sign again, uh, but it allows you to put sort of that, it puts you in the driver's seat to control that. Um, one of the things that's very different about Click uh, in comparison to normal eSign is we actually remember who is signed uh, and are able to look up when you load a Click wrap if a specific ID has previously signed and we determine if we need to present an agreement or not. So that's how we're able to do these things like versioning and enforcing versions across, enforcing agreement across versions. So with that, I'll jump back to the slides a little bit. Uh, so kind of one of the things I was pinging on, like one of the, one of the like main options you have is whether your agreement is displayed modal or inline. Uh, from dealing with embedded signing for a long time, uh, we found that there's several complications with like dealing with iframes in web pages, and we wanted to sort of take away some of that complication. So we provided we provide a client side JavaScript SDK for you to embed in the website and say which click wrap you want to load, and you decide whether you want that display modal over your web page so that you prevent the user from interacting with the page underneath, or if you want it to be inline at the bottom of a form like I was mentioning before. Uh, the benefits of modal is you get to prevent that interaction. And we manage for you the iframe sizing and responsive uh, portions of, of the UI. Uh, for inline, it's more similar to our normal embedded signing use cases where you're managing really the size and width of the iframe. It's up to you. Uh, but we handle, handle like the redirects and callbacks that you usually would have to create a web server to handle. We take that, we take that for you now. And then, like I was saying, uh, versioning is, versions is the other like, key portion of configuring a click wrap. Uh, every change you make is a new version and an audit trail. 
Uh, require reacceptance is how you enforce if a signer needs to re-sign on a later version. The active version controls which one is actually presented. So jumping into embedding a ClickWrap, and then we'll get into sort of demos of how you would embed a ClickWrap. Uh, this is the, really the JavaScript snippet that you'd have to include in your web page. Um, really only the, the idea is that we take away the need to do the uh, envelope post call or the reci recipient view call, and instead you can embed this click wrap snippet in your web page to render the agreement wherever you want to. Uh, in this example, like the last parameter down here is where you'd want it to render and which element in the page you'd want it to render. Um, yeah, so kind of pointing at the key properties you actually, the only ones you actually need to provide are account, click wrap, and the user ID that you want to sign, uh, along with where you want us to put the click wrap in your web page. And then jumping back, uh, actually uh, before, I, before I move on, uh, the client user ID should be a unique ID that you tie to your user. This specific ID, my bad. Uh, should be a, a unique ID that you tie to your user and your system. This is how we determine if a user has previously signed a, new, a, a version before, and if we need to represent them a new version. Uh, and then the other thing we provide in the SDK are ways to handle the callbacks. Usually like through embedded signing, these are handled through redirect URLs and where we land after they agree or decline or whatever those actions might be. In click, those are handled through a set of callback functions that are more client side based. So, you have the ability all in one place to integrate with Click without having to own a, like a server that you're redirecting to that sends a post message back up to your client page. Um, we get to handle that for you. So these are actually all optional. Like you don't need to specify any of these callbacks if you don't want to, but if you want to know, example being on must agree, when a user needs to agree, or you want to present something different in your UI, you can do that. Uh, if when they complete an agreement, you want to present something different UI, you want to show that they've logged in successfully or they, the UI changes in some other way, you can do that. And any error that we may present like through configuration or whatnot uh, will come through the on-error callback. Uh, so yeah, uh, we'll jump into, if you want to, uh, there is a handy page uh, that will help you, like if you were to configure a ClickWrap in your demo account now, you can easily paste that ClickWrap ID and try it in a web page um, at this link if you want. Uh, and I'll show them again at the end if you're if you're curious and want to, to take take more note. So going back to the manage portion, so you can after you create your first click wrap, you can click get code, and it shows you like the very base snippet you might need to paste into a web page. Um, Obviously, a unique user ID should be replaced with whatever's coming from your system to identify your user. Uh, but otherwise, everything else is exactly as you need it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take my account. Let's go. Let's make a fresh version of this, actually. Um, if you go to that URL I mentioned before for the ClickRap test page, it allows you to put in the environment, which would be demo for your sandbox account, the account ID, and the click wrap ID. This sample web page is already running this snippet for you, so you don't have to, um, just to make it a little easy to see what your click wrap looks like in a web page at all. So this is just a sort of a sample website of <laughs> what a login might look like if you put a click wrap around it. Actually, I've already agreed with that user. That's my bad. The problem there is that I've already agreed with that user, and so it skips right past the login, um, whereas usually it would present an agreement. <laughs> um, if I were to, I guess, upload a new version of the agreement uh, to the managed portion of the UI, it would actually re-require that user I tried before. Um, but yeah, I can, from here, it's, this is just an inline view, so it's just displayed it right in the page rather than over the entire page. Uh, it's up to you to how you want to control the UI for it. Um, you can set a specific width if you want to. Uh, it's really, yeah, div, div ID, click wrap. You can set whatever you want to around that element, and we'll just control the iframe within for you. And I'll just I'll agree. 
And then this uh, particular like sample website is using the on agreed callback that we saw earlier to just redirect to the, to the, uh, the finished login page. Uh, you can see all of the source for this is actually on GitHub and you can pull and figure out how it's implemented. I'll post, there's a link at the, at the very end for that too. Uh, and then showing off uh, really quickly the modal view as well. That's my bad. Again, I keep trying to sign with that same user. And as you can see, for this one, we actually handle all of the rendering. We put it over the web page, so you, you don't have to. Uh, typically, like this was a fairly tricky thing every time we've uh, done any embedded eSign integration. Uh, usually, the customer needs to build their own modal, manage an iframe height. As the like browser changes size, they need to change the height and width. Uh, and we sort of take that away and say, we're going to do that for you now, uh, which was kind of a big thing. Like we. <laughs> I feel like we've prescribed a lot of solutions over the years uh, as far as how to handle the iframe and how to handle embedded signing, and this was, uh, it's been a very nice way to simplify it on our side too. So, uh, some of the niceties of this is we will handle it responsibly for you, so you can not have to worry about mobile. We'll do that for you in, mobile, in modal mode. Uh, inline, not as much. We kind of let you be in control. Uh, so, anyway, I'll go ahead and agree here too. Yeah, I'm logged in. Um, and then I guess one last demo uh, or two I will show are the actual snippets you can try and do. And uh, the idea, <laughs> hopefully, is you can see all of these callbacks I have in here are actually optional. But actually, let's do an alert. Uh, that's fine. Typically, I would maybe mutate my UI somehow, or like like the other ClickWrap test page did. Uh, but in this case, I will run it as is, and I'll just have a console log and an on agree. So here's my log right here, which is the must agree and then I'll come through and do this all from the client. It's kind of, <laughs> the idea for Click is that it is incredibly simple in comparison to some of the eSign uses. Uh, so yeah, and the has agreed pops too. All right. And then we will also present, depending on the setting, like I think on, on this particular Click app, I have download enabled and you can download at the end if you want to too. Um, if you wanted to, you could also entirely hide the element uh, when it completes by just writing your own JavaScript to, to hide it. And I'll just, I modified the user ID so I'd actually get a new agreement. If I kept it the same, it would just show me uh, nothing because I've already completed. Come on. Sorry, that's my bad for running it on that page. In this case, I don't want it to show anything when I finish. And it goes away. So you kind of get a little bit of like easy control over the like process of the agreement from the Click SDK. So with that, uh, doo -doo -doo. Um, I kind of want to link back to some of these resources. Uh, if you can follow through with any of the other API guides or walkthroughs, uh, the Click API guide on developers.exing.com is pretty amazing. 
uh, as well as the uh, page that I showed you and walked you through, the ClickRap test page by Larry Kluger, also amazing, um, as well as the source to it is very cool to see um, as far as how you might do your own ClickRap too. Uh, we can dig through a little more of that if we want, uh, but otherwise, uh, I've, it's very quick. Thank you, <laughs> and I want to open up the questions. Yeah. Are, are click wraps associated with an envelope, or are they totally separate from um, They have. <laughs> they have. Uh, there is technically an envelope underneath the covers for it to track. So, like, there's uh, the usual things you get with an envelope, like a COC. Yeah. I, we, I, we can. I guess I could show that if if it's useful too. Yeah. Mm. Set of checkbox. Are there any other types of quote, tags that you can add? To not, not at the moment. Um, for for click, the idea is uh, at least at least not not at the moment. Uh, the idea is that the documents are are pure text, um, at, and everyone has the same document, and you're all agreeing to the same thing at the moment. Does it support multiple uses for a single agreement? Yes. Or I guess do you mean like uh, multiple users signing it? Or oh uh, no. Yeah. Per signer, so yeah. Uh, every click wrap is a separate agreement for one user. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yes? Does this integrate with FreeCM at all to actually like, tag the documents? To tag them, no. Uh, so you couldn't report like, which one, so if you change a governing law at some point, you couldn't report on which documents? Which documents need to be updated in a right. click wrap? Yeah. Or Well, you could, um, I don't know what I did, but uh, <laughs> I, you could uh, certainly integrate Spring CM on the outside to update a click wrap, like to create a new version upon like a policy change. That's something. File the document within Spring CM so that then it tags it. You could, we don't have anything like that now, but that's, a, that's, that's definitely, we're, we're open to doing that for sure. Yeah, that makes sense. At least, I, at least I think I think I follow. Yeah. Is your deck and generally the slides for the uh, outbreak, uh, the breakouts, uh, going to be available? Yeah, the the deck uh, as well as a recording too um, of the walkthroughs. Those will be, both be available. And I think you had a question. Yeah, you showed a must read setting. Is that? Oh yeah. How's that satisfied? Is that through scroll? Through scroll. Yeah, yeah. Um, I didn't show it off today, but yeah, you would have to scroll to the bottom of the document and then agree. Uh, there's also a checkbox setting to enforce that you check a, an agreement first before you can click agree. Uh, there's a, a few other things coming, like a, a different display of the document rather than just the one scrolling view. There's there's a link view of like several documents you may link to and pop over as separate modals. Uh, and those are have like a must view setting, so you have to actually open them and look at them, and then you can also set a must read on those as well. Um, Makes it a little easier to manage the multiple documents. Yeah. It's short and sweet because I think click is honestly supposed to be fairly simple, <laughs> as is the idea. But yeah.